how they're little individual hotels for the cats. Very cute. After all, they are our best friends, not just dogs, of yes, course. Yes, that's true, and it's a, a good issue to tackle the overpopulation. Well, you know what? Now to the Nova Scotia man who's been in, winning international awards for his wildlife photography. Ian Murray started taking pictures as a hobby in retirement, but it's turned into a way of life. He's captured eagles pouncing on fish and bears lounging in fields, but one quarry continues to escape him. John Tatry joined Murray on the Wallace River. No one loves the morning commute. Fun job, actually. Well, except perhaps for Ian Murray. He starts his day catching up with the birds outside his Wallace River home. To the river. Before hiking down to the river. Yeah, this is my office. Isn't it nice? No dividers, no cubicles, no telephones. That's the best part. I'm out here seven days a week in good weather. Six years ago, he left the corporate world of Toronto and returned to northern Nova Scotia. Each day, he heads outside, finds a quiet spot, covers himself in camouflage, and disappears. If there's a day I don't spend out here with my camera, it's a day wasted. I, uh, I, I enjoy it a lot. I look forward to it. It's productive. It feels good. It's good for the soul. And, and, and you get good pictures to boot. He admits the patience came slowly. Friends of mine who have known me for many years have not known me to be a patient person, but they are amazed now at how patient I can be. I come down here and I'll sit or stand with my camera and I'll, I'll try to outweigh the eagle that's sitting in the tree across the river. Usually, the eagle wins, but not always. It was low tide and he danced among the Gasparo in the river and, and he got what he wanted, four fish at one time. And I got I, what I wanted, uh, and a good photo of him doing that. This photo won him a major American award last winter. This one of a mother and cub earned him another. That's what the photographer's after, right? This is, this is something I'm always searching for, is the elusive good next shot. That's, what, that's always what I'm looking for, and, and often this is where I'm going to find it, right in my own backyard. But one creature has so far escaped his lens. Oh, uh, the elusive Nova Scotia cougar. That's every wildlife photographer in Nova Scotia's dream, is to be the guy that gets a good shot of a Nova, Nova Scotia cougar. And it's going to happen. I'll get him. Until then, he'll sit by the river and wait. John Tatry, CBC News on the Wallace River. And tracking down that cougar's a little tough, isn't it? It's elusive for a reason. <laughs> Make sure you head over to cbc.ca yeah, some to some great see the photos. photos. Yeah, They're I fantastic. love the, the Fox family especially. Very cute. We are going to take a 